rupees 2.33 lakhs as an introductory price for this dead gorgeous beautiful sounding motorcycle is absolutely insane so today i'm here to test ride this machine and see what it has to offer I to be no doubt a teenage love everybody else could see the way we were living in a fantasy when i kiss her i don't know where we going i don't know at all i don't know how we going i'll be moving on oh, i'll be moving on gotta let it go living on my own making me strong hello ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to the channel you're watching the rev kit the Triumph's classic blood line is clear in every respect when you walk around the bike, showcasing a clean and classy new retro silhouette. The Speed 400 is every bit a Triumph classic, clearly demonstrating the design philosophy of its older Speed 900 and 1200 siblings. The button mirrors are a nifty touch and give the bike a nice premium feel. The slightly forward tilted engine holds center stage in the design with a trademark triangular crankcase, leaving no doubt as to the bike's heritage. In no way does the Speed 400 feel like a cost cutting compromise. Park it in any tram showroom in the world and it will look right at home. The paint finish with accenting stripe is beautifully done. In fact, the overall fit and finish of the bike is stunning and definitely almost at par with Triumph's bigger bikes. Behind the tank, you have a rather roomy seat which is comfortable, even two up there is enough room for both of us. The bike ends with a sleek looking tail light. The attention to detail on the Speed 400 is impeccable. Take for example the engine, it is finished very well and despite being liquid cooled, it still has the asymmetric fins that hark back to Triumph's older engines. Then there is the exhaust pipe and the way it bends from the header all the way to the muffler, a proper Triumph touch. The engine also wears a small badge that reads TR series identifying this new range of engines. All of these small details really indicate that this is a well thought out motorcycle as you would expect from one that wears the Triumph badge. The instrument console looks neat with its large analog speedometer and small LCD screen which has all necessary information including access to the switchable traction control system. But there's no Bluetooth connectivity or turn by turn navigation. There's a useful USB charging socket and readability of the ref counter could have been better. Swing a leg over it and it immediately feels friendly. The ergonomics are spot on. The handlebar falls naturally and the foot pegs are positioned just right, not to rear set and not too far forward. Now talking about the engine. This is an all new engine that bears no resemblance to the Bajaj Dominar engine. The 398cc 4-valve DOHC single cylinder engine is liquid cooled and is all new. Bajaj has zero rights to use it in any of their bikes. The engine produces 39.5 bhp at 8000 rpm and 37.5 Nm of torque at 6500 rpm. 
This power and torque outputs make it amongst the most powerful in the new retro class. Acceleration is urgent but won't scare you silly or try to throw you off. The claimed 0 to 100 km per hour is in 7 seconds but power delivery is friendly and won't intimidate new riders. The Triumph Speed 400 is no sports bike but it's got sporty written all over it in the way it handles and rides. The suspension is tuned on the softer side to offer good ride quality in Indian riding conditions and it doesn't disappoint. It's a collaboration done right, it's a motorcycle that outperforms the hype and it combines imagination with value for money in a way that we haven't really seen before. It's not the most powerful motorcycle around nor does it have any connectivity features but it achieves a level of all-round feel and quality that is unprecedented. A motorcycle that looks, feels and sounds so beautiful at this price point. It's the best motorcycle ever made in India. What are you waiting for? Just go buy it. Or maybe just wait for the scrambler which might be a bigger surprise. So that's all for today. This is Revkit signing off. Thanks for watching.